Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what waits for you in love for the week of May 20th to May 26th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the, in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week. What's the energy of Scorpio? in regards to love for this week all right first card we have for you is the three of pentacles we also have the seven of swords in your energy we also have the page of wands in your energy at the bottom of the deck seven of wands ace of pentacles eight of pentacles and the six of wands all right let's see what's going on three of pentacles Some of you are waiting for this person to communicate with you. Either you're waiting for that to happen or you just know it's going to happen. You're expecting it to happen. Yeah. You're very focused on yourself, though, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like um, you're working really hard on achieving something, accomplishing something. This looks like you're, um, you're investing a lot of time and energy into your goals, your work, your career, your finances, something that you want to start for yourself, a new business. This could be even a house, uh, the, 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 the purchase of something, a big purchase. You're working really hard on things that are about yourself. Six of Wands is here. Some of you are like headed towards fame or recognition or just general success um, in your career or in your goals. Hmm. I feel like the Seven of Swords is your energy. We do have the Seven of Swords here. It feels a little bit like it could be your energy for some reason. So I want to look at that. Let's clarify. Spirit, tell me about the Seven of Swords, please. Some of you are ready to reject someone. If this person does come towards you or reach out to you, um, whoever you're dealing with, I feel like some of you are in this position of ready for battle, ready for war, ready, ready to reject this person or block them if they try to get too close to you. Tell me about the uh, Seven of Swords. All right, we have Death. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. You don't believe someone is going to change. You don't really believe that. I saw the Eight of Cups also. We have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you feel like this person is never going to change with the Death card here. Um, and you feel like the best thing you can do is to explore your options and open up your horizons towards other opportunities and other ventures. Other options. because there's plenty of fish in the sea is what I'm getting. You know there's plenty of fish in the sea or you know there's an abundance of opportunities you know, out there in the world and I feel like you're ready to embrace, the, embrace them and explore them.
And again, I feel like you're ready to reject this person if they try to have a new beginning with you. I want to look at the Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, Spirit. Oh, yeah. Four of Cups. So, Four of Cups. So, it's too late to apologize is what seems to be your energy here with the Four of Cups. Too late to apologize. Too little too late to apologize is what I'm getting. They had their chance, they ruined it, they messed it up, and now it's too late, and now they need to um, accept that it's over because it looks like you're not planning on taking them back. All right, let's move on to this person's energy now, see what's going on on that side of the reading. Here we go. I'm going to use a different deck. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, please. One more shuffle. Some of you feel like this person has been entertaining other people behind your back. You feel like they've been entertaining other options behind your back. You don't trust them. You feel like they're disloyal to you. All right. What is this person's energy towards Scorpio for the week? First card we have is the Emperor in their energy. We also have the Seven of Wands in their energy. We also have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The Eight of Cups to the Eight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles to the Page of Cups. That's interesting, hold on. Page of Cups and the Five of Wands and Page of Pentacles and the Three of Swords and the Judgment card. Why does this person keep showing up as a page? Three times they've shown up as a page. All right, what am I missing? Let me just look at this for a second. Emperor, Seven of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles and their energy towards Scorpio. Eight of Cups to the Eight of Wands. So this person definitely has somebody else um, in their energy, somebody else that they're romantically connecting to, dealing with, involved with. But they don't want you going anywhere. Is what I'm getting. That's what it feels like here. They don't want you going anywhere. They want to stop you from moving on from them or walking away from them. Um, and they plan on coming towards you with a very innocent-like energy. They're thinking of coming towards you with a very innocent-like energy. I'm sorry that this happened. I'm sorry that you're upset with me, Scorpio. You know, can we talk about it? Can we, can we see each other again? Can we get back together? You know, can we just clear the air and um, let bygones be bygones? Give me another chance with the judgment card. I feel like this person's a little bit deceptive here. They're trying to regain control over you, Scorpio, but I feel like they're using lies and manipulation to, to do it. Oh, sorry about my phone. I keep forgetting to turn off the volume. Sorry about that. All right, so that's what I see happening here. I feel like this person's wearing some sort of mask. They're playing the role of innocent 
but I don't feel like they're innocent at all. I feel like this person wants to keep their options, you know, wants to hold on to their options. They're very selfish, basically, is what I'm getting. Very, very selfish. You know? Because I feel like they have somebody else here um, that they're involved with, dealing with, connecting to, and they want to be with you at the same time. What's going on with this emperor spirit? Clarify the emperor, please. This person seems to be like angry. I don't know why they're angry, but I'm getting like a lot of angry energy from them, you know? All right, looking at the, or clarifying the emperor, we have the three of wands. Oh, okay. Well, that's why they're angry. Yeah, it just kind of looks like this person has been waiting for you. They've been waiting for you to take action towards them, to, to chase them, to come looking for them, to be desperate for them. And that's just not happening, and they're pissed. Moral of the story, basically. They're pissed. They're pissed off because they thought they thought you would be desperate for them or they thought you were codependent off of them in some way and that's just not the case quite the opposite actually so yeah they're they're bitter they're angry they're upset but they're not going anywhere that's for sure they're not going anywhere okay yeah because i see them planning on coming towards you for sure all right, so I'm going to stop the reading right here, Scorpio, and I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at this person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they be taking towards you moving forward? And what will the outcome be for this relationship between the two of you? All right. If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.